Welcome to Driftwood and Shine. Hey guys, I'm Debbie. And tonight, listen, I've got this whole bunch of colors. You know, all my, all my colors and all my wheelhouse. And I've got this trash basket. This was a trash can, like the basket weave kind of trash can. I have spray painted it white because it was teal. Another one of the colors. But I spray painted it white because I want... We're going to make this a, I need a new planter for my peace lily. So, we're fixing to make this like serene, okay? We're going to take some nautical rope from Dollar Tree. And when it comes, guys, it comes with this, the um, like tape stuff on the end of it. Take that stuff off. All you have to do is kind of put your scissors up under there and then you can kind of pull it off. You have to be careful though because it will, um, your, your rope will, will ravel out. Okay? But what we're going to do, I'm cutting it. Y'all know when I start mine, I usually cut them at an angle, like a long angle. See, like a big long angle. Just like that. So it's kind of just cut at an angle. It takes up less room that way, I found. Now, all I'm going to do, and guys, you can determine this on your own. I'm just going to kind of guesstimate right in the middle where I want it. Let's see if my hot glue is hot. No. Me and this hot glue, but it is turned on this time, guys. Oh, it's getting hot, though. There we go. It's getting there. I just need enough to get it started. It's getting there. Ooh. Okay, maybe that'll be enough to get it started. Just press down where you cut it off so that you have the slanted edge you're starting with, okay? Make sure this is stuck good, though. Okay, we're just going to go around... Hopefully this thing will start working. And you with these these I can kind of tell what what area I'm on. So I can keep on that same same basket weave pattern. <laughs> Cause I have those lines to go by. We're just gonna keep going round and round till we run out of rope. And I don't know how much it'll it'll be. It doesn't really matter. You'll see what we're gonna do with the rope and what the whole idea is in just a little bit. This is a nine and a half foot rope you get from Dollar Tree. I don't think it's gonna be a lot, I'll be honest with you. I sure wish it'd get hot though. It may go around, maybe it'll go around three times, maybe, we hope. But you don't have to put your hot glue everywhere, guys. You can kind of skip ahead and just put you some hot glue on over but then you want to start above see coming here and we'll go above and again i'm just putting this hot glue ever so often it doesn't have to be right together and it doesn't have to be perfect you know we don't do perfect around here but this is gonna be really cute for my peace lily. And by the time it, my peace lily grows out of it, see, and has to be repotted again, then I probably won't need a summertime looking basket or planter. Then I can move on up to, you know, maybe fall or something. We'll do something for it. See, we made it to round three, starting round three. And finally, my hot glue gun's working right. Finally. Got hot enough. Yay. I like when it works right. But I'm going to just glue it ever so often. Not all the way around. You don't have to all the way around. And guys, this is my peace plant now. It's going to be inside. 
if you've got an outside plant, you might want to stick in some E6000, some Gorilla Glue, something that's going to hold it permanent because this hot glue could, you know, down here in the south, it gets so hot down here, it really could kind of turn loose. Even though this is super good hot glue, it's not the cheap hot glue, but we just never know around here. So, you know, kind of determine on your own what you think. Now we're we're cooking with grease, they say now. It's going. Okay, I've reached the end of this one. I didn't glue right down here on the very end because I'm gonna take my scissors and again, kind of trim it down in a long slant, just so that it doesn't take up as much right here. And then that way, when I put my other piece on here, I'll trim it down and then I can kind of put it right there along with it, like right here. We'll trim it down. Like that. And then I can take and put my hot glue right here on this one right here that I ended on right here and right here. Then I can take and smush the half thing down right there on it. See, I put it right there on it and then I'm ready to go again. Get this over here. I think we only need two of them. I really think we only need two of them. Now I got this basket back when they were a dollar cause I've had it for a long time. And the rope was a dollar and twenty-five cent each, so that's two fifty plus the dollar three fifty for a planter. Now I will um once it dries tomorrow, I will go in and put me some holes down here so that my plant can drain, and then I'll get me one of those little terracotta pot lids to set it in and paint it turquoise too, or some shade of this turquoise. But guys, when you decorate and you do things like we made those little um, fly catchers today and we made the the um, glass vase. Do it in a color that's going to look good in your home. Don't do it just because you've seen somebody else like you see me doing this turquoise or whatever. If that's not a color that's going to work with your home and your scheme, don't do it with that. Go at, go Go with your color, your home, whatever is you know, is you. Go with you. This will work perfect with my home. Any colors of tealish, because that's my highlight color. That's not my main color. It was my main color when I moved in. When I, because I remodeled, I re, not remodeled. I redid a lot of this house, repainted, and, and we took up all the carpet and put down flooring and all that kind of stuff seven years ago. But, um, at that time, Guys, I've always been crazy about turquoise, always been crazy about teal, always been crazy about that, that color scheme. And I thought it would be cool to have my house <laughs> with light turquoise walls. No, guys. Maybe at the beach it would be cool. I am so sick of these walls, and it's my color. But I don't like the walls being that color. So I've got to, when I can, afford to repaint them. I'm going to repaint them because I am really... That was a really bad idea. A really bad idea. So go with neutral and then paint or use your, your, whatever your color scheme is, whatever you like. Okay, this is, I don't have a list. Look here, this is what I'm going to do. Here's where I started right there. I don't have enough to go all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off in line with that. Because this will be my back. See, this will be where I can leave it to the back. So, kind of keep that in mind when you're when you're doing. I've got to cut this way. And again, I'm going to just cut the long, the long angle just so it doesn't end in a big old wad. And then we'll glue all that down. And then we'll move on to the next step. The next step is going to be cool. 
I think. Just using the end of my hot glue gun to kind of tame all that down into there. See, then we ended there, started and ended right there, okay? Now, this is where our other colors are fixing to come into play. And this is where you just, guys, again, do it with your color scheme, do it with your ideas, do it um, to where you like it. This is your piece of art. This is your, your design, your whatever you do is all on you. So whatever you like, that's what we're going with. I like these colors, so this is what we're going with. But see, this is what we've got. Now, all I'm going to do, and I can't lean it down because I might hold it like this. I'm going to start with my darkest, which is turquoise, is my darkest green color. And I'm literally going to paint my string. And I'm going to try to go fast. And you can't even count. Like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strings. I only have six colors. So I'm gonna have to do like a string and a little bit on each one of them. And see, I should have started in the back, but that's okay. Start in the back, guys. Learn a lesson, start in the back. But we're kind of going to do, the reason I've got it laid out like this, we're kind of doing, in my colors, we're doing like an ombre effect. See, our rope breaks our basket up and makes it look neat. And I'm taking a waste basket and making a planter out of it, because you can do that. And you don't even have to color this rope real, real well. We'll go, let's just go a little bit like that. See. Then we'll go into the next color. As far as my green, I'm going to hop up here to my other greenish color. And you're just going to find kind of form an ombre. Ombre, not ombre. Ombre. Now my Next color is almost the same color as Key West. This color I'm using now is aquamarine, I believe. I believe it is. But we'll see once we get it done. It's still going to go go good together. And see, I'm not even trying to make sure that I get it colored, colored good. You just, just color it. Oh, I like it already. And see, this time, I'm going to go just a little bit further. Like, this is where my, my turquoise stopped. So, I'm going to go just a little bit further. Okay, now we're fixing to go into our Key West, which I think is real similar, but maybe it'll be enough that we can tell. I think it's a little brighter. Let's see how quick, quick, quick. You can go with these colors and you can do now guys it's pretty to do you can do red and white red and white red and white and then the top two be blue and have some stars put on it it's endless guys just endless what you can do to make it pretty and to make it all go together see we're coming to the end again see how quick this is going oh it's awesome that's where my turquoise ended, right here. And that's where the other ended, which is real similar. But we're going to go ahead and end right there since it's real similar. Now we're going to jump into our blue. Now I've got a, see, green. I think I'm going to go with the light of blue and then kind of go up to my dark blue. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go light blue now. 
We're just going to see how this looks, right? I think it's going to be beautiful. I think it's going to work so good with my plant. Be all serene and peaceful for a peace plant. Y'all don't forget, if you're interested in the Crafter's Retreat now, the um, $50 off goes through the 15th, which will, today's the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, Wednesday. After Wednesday, then it'll go up to full price of $2.98. So y'all get your ticket, get on the bottom floor, and have fun with us. Okay, now I think I'm going to just use the same brush and go to my next darkest blue. And we're going to move on up from there. Kelly must know it, not know I'm live, sorry. Or she might be trolling to tell me, can y'all not hear me or something? I don't know. Oh, I like this. And I like that I can use each rope as my guide of where to paint. Now, if I wanted to paint a real true ombre, I could take me some water and a bigger paintbrush and only use two or three of these colors and then um, blend it in with the water. Okay, now we're going to go to our next color. A lot of these colors are real similar, but that's okay. We'll end with our real dark blue right at the top. Oh, this is looking really good, guys. I love it. Okay. I think I'm fixing the transfer now to my dark, dark blue. This is real dark. I love this color. And that'll be the two top rows will be this color. But like I said, guys, you could, if you like, you like yellows, pick you all different colors of yellow. If you like oranges, pick all different colors. Or maybe you could use red, yellow, and orange. That would be gorgeous. I mean, the, the, the endless, the possibilities based on what your colors are, what you like, what you have on your, maybe if you're putting it out, pour, out, out on your porch, your patio, whatever your colors are out there, use those colors. Like I said, mine's going to be inside, so this will go real good. Um, I'm on fixing to where he sits on my fireplace. Tell y'all a funny story about my fireplace. Y'all know I live in a trailer. Well, my fireplace was leaking. This was back when Mom was real sick, and so I really wasn't paying lots of attention or whatever, but it was leaking. So Sonny called the man that had worked on their house and fixed the roof after Hurricane Michael. And I told her, I said, tell him to fix it now because I want to be able to use my fireplace. So tell him to fix it. Well, girl, he went up there, took my flu or flume or whatever you call the thing out completely, covered over the whole thing so can't even use it. So I just have a fireplace that just sits there. But look, guys, look, love it. Look at that. And just imagine if you had all your colors. Imagine even if this was a, a, a smaller yarn. If you don't like the big, I like the big. I like how it makes it look a little rustic. But you could do even a smaller yarn. And what you could do is go ahead and paint your yarn before you ever even put it on there and let it lay out a long way and dry. 
and then do it. Oh, I might have to do one like that because that's got my, yeah, I might have to do one like that. But anyhow, that's it, guys. That's it. And how easy and simple. And you can color all the way up if you choose. I kind of like having a little bit of the rope showing here. But um, that's it, guys. Look. Isn't that cute? And simple. We have um, 250, 350. 350 in a planter. That's a pretty good size planter. I think my peace lily will probably be able to live in this for quite a while because he was a small peace lily. Um, so I'll replant him one day this week, too. Anyhow, I sure wish I could read what y'all say. <laughs> y'all, please share this out. Everybody might want to make them a planner. And remember, do it your colors. Whether they be my colors, like these turquoise colors and stuff, or yellow colors, or you could do it metallic colors. That would be really pretty. Metallic color. Oh, paint your wastebasket black and do my cat do your rope around it and then go over it with metallic colors like you have metallic silver metallic gold metallic copper metallic uh old gold metal i mean there's so many so many colors of metallic that would be beautiful against a black waste basket and this is just a simple one dollar waste basket guys that we're going to make into a planner now again if you just tuned in i will be you know putting my holes in here so that um it can drain. My plant can drain. But that's it, guys, for tonight. How about that? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But anyhow, um, we'll be back on in the morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But y'all remember the retreat. Tickets um, will be on sale. Now, tickets will be on sale through August the 30th if we have any left at that time. But the $50 off ends Wednesday. So get your ticket by Wednesday night so that you don't miss out on that $50. Save that $50 because until Wednesday, it's only $248. And all the other craft events that we've seen that other people are putting on is anywhere from $547 up. So I think you get a good deal. Good deal. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. And I'll see you in the morning. Y'all spread it out, please. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Share, share, share. All right. Love you guys.